Hey guys, so one thing that always comes up is the role of HCG. I know everybody's always trying to look for that secret hidden cheat code that's gonna dramatically accelerate this enlargement process. We actually have data to discuss today. We're gonna be talking about this paper here. It was actually republished in Nature, which looks exactly at this question, okay? So first of all, what is HCG? So it's human chorionic gonadotropin. What does that do? Well, it actually helps to signal like the luteinizing hormone, LH, in your brain. It's also found with like pregnancy actually. So when you actually like pee on a, on a pregnancy test, it's actually testing for HCG. So it is actually like a pregnancy hormone. But in men, it acts along what we call the Leydig cells and basically the testicles and it helps to actually produce and stimulate exogenous testosterone, which is theorized that it could potentially help with like the enlargement process if you're using something like HCG. It can also help to stimulate some of the structures in the testes to actually increase sperm production as well. Shut up and take my money. So you know I love my rat studies. These poor rats and these poor doctors actually over there like pumping up little rats. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. So there's another study, guys. This, or, you know, below. But this study actually looked at that same group. For those that haven't seen my videos on anti-locks, please, for the love of God, check them out. They're very good videos that break down basically the enlargement process. In this study, they took a group of rats, all right? They already know that anti-locks dramatically increases penile size in rats when combined with things like pumping because it actually basically dysregulates the collagen and allows the tunica, the tunica abogenia of the actual penis to actually expand and allow the chambers of the penis to therefore enlarge. They already proved that anti-lox works. They proved that it works better in like the rats that are basically going through puberty. And then in this study, they say, well, you know, we hypothesize that if we give these rats HCG, it will stimulate exogenous testosterone to increase their DHT, increase their testosterone, and it will further improve size. So what did they do? They had seven different control groups, okay? There was a control, an anti-lox, an HCG, a VED, meaning vacuum erection device, with a negative pressure of 300 millimeters of mercury, guys. I've already made several videos about how I think we need to be pumping at higher pressures. 300 millimeters of mercury is like roughly 12 inches of mercury or 12 HG, as some people like BD like to call it. But I know I'm just an old cantankerous man and I just need to get over the fact that people are just gonna say 12 HG instead of inches of mercury, that's all right. Then they had an anti-locks plus the vacuum erection device group and then they had an HCG plus vacuum erection device plus anti-lox group. So they had basically every, every different group accounted for, okay? And they actually did this intervention for only four weeks, guys. If you guys are liking these videos, you wanna support what I do, you wanna message me, you wanna ch chat with me for consultation or coaching, please check out my Patreon. All of these videos are posted early on my Patreon for you guys to see them. So what were the results? Well guys, every single intervention that they did actually increased the rat size here, okay? I'll put up a graph here where you can see that literally like everything increased the size. When you had the vacuum erection device and you had the anti-locks, there was a 26% increase in penile length in four weeks. Like what? <laughs> like, can you, I mean, that sounds like an infomercial. Can you imagine that being 26% longer in four weeks? Like, yes, that's too good to be true. But I mean, because we've already talked about the side effects associated with anti-locks, but like. No, I, I, I want to do it. We really got to get something to get this to market, guys, because, I mean, this is like incredible, mind-blowing, clinical proven research, okay? The key thing is that when you're looking at HCG, it did not aid in the enlargement process, okay? So, yes, once again, if you're looking at this graph, it clearly compared to the control HCD, HCG did increase the actual penile size. But if you look at adding HCG in with just the vacuum erection device, there was no significant benefit. And actually the vacuum erection device alone did a little bit better. And when you look at it, of course, added to like the vacuum erection device and locks, there was no benefit to adding the HCG. So no guys, like I know all of these like chem PE bros are trying to, oh my God, we can use this and this will, uh, that's not fair. I'm not trying to like make fun of these guys, but like they're all trying to do this stuff, but like there's actually research showing that this stuff is not going to aid in the enlargement process. Here's another thing that we can rule out, HCG. We can mark this out. However, there's still a lot that we can learn. One thing, for example, is that they looked at erectile function in all of these studies, and in all of these studies, they maintained their erection funny. There was no, there, there was no decrease. There was no significant increase either. Erectile function was maintained, so that's very important. So I'm saying pumping at higher pressures. Like, yes, it's more dangerous, but here we have, really, I mean, this is a 
control trial, and I won't say it's randomized, obviously, and you know, it's on rats, it's not on humans, but erectile function is preserved. That's very important, guys, when we're talking about health and safety of PE, particularly with pumping, okay? Once again, guys, with pumping, one of my like new hot takes is that everybody's like, oh, pumping is for girth, pumping is for girth. I'm like, no, pumping is for length as well. And in fact, you know, they weren't measuring girth on these studies. They were primarily measuring length. But as you can see here, pumping significantly increases length. So like pumping is a length exercise as well. What they did see also was that HCG did what it was set out to do in all of the different studies that they, or the different models that they, they tested, HCG increased not only testosterone, but also DHT. So for all those guys that are like, oh my gosh, I need to put DHT cream downstairs and that'll help me grow. Like, no guys, like this is systemically increasing DHT levels and there's no benefit. Now I know there's a difference between taking a medicine that's gonna increase your basically systemic DHT versus like potentially rubbing a topical cream. I am gonna make a video about DHT. If you guys want me to make a video about DHT and DHT cream and its role in PE, please let me know in the comments below, guys. And let's say if we get this video to 350 likes, I'll make that video, okay? However, so if you are looking to increase your testosterone because, you know, for whatever the re reason may be, guys, that's why I developed Vitality. It is on Amazon now, guys. It's, we're trying to make things more available to you. So this is on Amazon. And guys, by the time this video is out, our vigor should be back in stock. You all know when we're talking about erectile function, endothelial function, preserving the health of your penile tissue, you need something specifically designed like I did for vigor. So what are my takeaways from the study? Well, guys, does HCG make a difference? Nope, okay, so all you Kim PE guys looking to like biohack, it doesn't work. Here's level one evidence showing that it doesn't work, okay? But you know, by all means, if you guys wanna screw up your hormones and do things like that, you know, do you, do what makes you happy. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, I'm just presenting you with my interpretation of the data. DHT, guys, is DHT gonna help or increase testosterone levels? Well, you know, probably not directly, at least in this study, then when we're, we saw that there was an increase in DHT and an increase in testosterone, there was no direct impact of either of those, at least systemically, okay? So here's some interesting quotes from this paper that I did wanna present, okay, in, in case it wasn't abundantly clear. But they said, these proved that HCG replacement combined a vacuum erection device force did not promote penile growth, suggesting that androgen was not an effective supplement for first line non-invasive penile lengthening technique. Like how, how much more clear can you be about the role of like exogenous androgens, okay? They also go on to say that androgen therapy was recommended to improve penile length for micro penises, okay, and then listed one, two, three, four, five, six different papers, okay, but not for normal individuals, okay? The other, like, bottom line, guys, we have to get a LOX drug, okay? We, we, we gotta figure out a way to block that anti lox in a way that's not gonna cause things like aortic aneurysms and death. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Peace and love, guys.